I think it's useful when thinking about pseudokinases to start by thinking about the anatomy of an active protein kinase. It's useful to consider protein kinase A in this regard. There are three key catalytic motifs that are present in active protein kinases, the VAIK motif, the DFG motif, and the HRD motif, each with a specific function. Pseudokinase domains are defined by the absence of one or more of these three key motifs. What are the functions of pseudokinase domains? There's been a lot of activity in the field over the past few years, and it seems that there are two key themes that have emerged. One is that pseudokinase domains often serve as signaling scaffolds, where they nucleate the assembly of signaling complexes, and the other is that they tend to serve as regulators of bona fide protein kinases, in which by their interaction with a protein kinase, they serve a function of tuning the activity of these kinases. So this raises a number of important questions. Are pseudokinases really just protein kinases in disguise? That is, do they have some residual activity? Do they rely on ATP binding for their functions? Such as, could ATP binding serve as a molecular switch to toggle the activities of these proteins? And can the ATP binding clefts of pseudokinases, the so-called pseudoactive sites, be targeted by novel classes of drugs? So to address this, we've been surveying. A key question we wished to address was whether pseudokinases bind ATP. And to address this, we collected 30 diverse pseudokinase domains from various organisms and examined their capacity to bind nucleotides or divalent cations using an assay called the Thermal Stability Shift Assay. The principle of the assay is that a protein will undergo denaturation with the increase in temperature and the binding of a ligand can protect the protein from denaturation resulting in a thermal stability shift and the magnitude of this shift can be used to infer whether the ligand has bound. So we used this assay to characterize these 30 pseudokinases in our collection and we found a number of emerging themes. Not all pseudokinases bind ATP not all pseudokinases need to be catalytically active to perform a biological function. And many of these pseudokinases contain an accessible ATP binding cleft, which may serve as the target for small molecule drugs. One particular pseudokinase that bound ATP is a recently described protein called mixed lineage kinase domain-like, which functions in a pathway called necroptosis. MLKL functions downstream of a bona fide kinase, RIPK3, and is a substrate for RIPK3. And this step has been shown to be important for necroptosis signaling. MLKL is an interesting pseudokinase because it has retained a VAIK motif but has lost the HRD and DFG catalytic motifs. The DFG motif is in fact conserved throughout species as GFE. The HRD motif is quite variable. The HRD motif is the important catalytic motif. Our data suggests that MLKL binds ATP in vitro, and there have been conflicting published reports about the catalytic activity of MLKL. However, our data demonstrate that catalytic activity is not necessary for its biological function. The outstanding question that remains is whether ATP competitive inhibitors can modulate MLKL's non-catalytic function. Such modulators might serve as an exciting avenue to counter the pathology of inflammatory diseases.